my website right now and download my free course on alternate picking mastery. It contains five essential exercises that will take you to alternate picking mastery faster than you can imagine. And then I've included my method of how to lay out a practice plan in just one to two minutes that will absolutely boost your results like nothing you ever tried before. So go download it right now. It's free. <laughs> this is my way of practicing vibrato. I came up with it pretty early because I needed some kind of, you know, I needed to put it, you know, you can always, you can just do stuff like that and then just, you know, sit and practice vibrato by vibrating the strings up and down. But once you start adding rhythm to it, it really gets like a scientific process that you can follow step by step and become good and you can measure it like we did with bending. So what I do basically is I, I make it, uh, first of all, a matter of rhythm. There are other ways of doing it. I'm going to come back to that. But this is so, such an effective approach. So let's say you have your metronome clicking there, ba, da, and then you take just one note with your first finger, and then you, you bend it up one semitone. Right? And you pick it as often as you need to in order to keep it going, right? So you go ba, da, 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 and then you go. Then you go triplets. Ba da 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 da. One two three. One two three. One two three. One two three. All right. And really try to do it in time. Ba da da da. And you might want to go a lot slower than this in the beginning. One two three. One two three. One two three. All right. And I can go four. One two three. Ba 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 ba. And a lot slower again. Let me just demonstrate that. So, so you're not, you know, so what the, right? So that would be. You can also go like, but make sure you're following the rhythm and really seeing it as a, as a rhythmical exercise. We I die I one two three four one and on it twice as fast, right? And then triplets. Right? Because once you do this, you, 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 and you, of course, do it with other fingers as well. When, when you do this, let's say you do that for five minutes each day for a month, then you actually develop the ability to... to actually have my brado be something else than just an effect, like brrrr, like the... the which is also cool, which I'm just going to show you how I do. But, but suddenly you can go... Da 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 da. semitone this is half a semitone perhaps da, 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 da. it becomes a much more musical vibrato when you can control the rhythm and the actual movement that's what happens when you practice like this you control the actual movement da, da, instead of it just being a spasm right And if you practice it in this way, I promise you, you'll be so good at it that you just take it to a totally different level than most people. Then there's this that's vibrato as a as an effect on the note as well. And that's just that's a different thing. That's just as fast as you can vibrato. It's like a like, like and it just creates intensity on the note. Yeah, like But it's, a, it's an intense, like, uneasy, like... Like a fast tremolo. And I do that, actually, that's... I, I, look at my hand here. I have my thumb up here. And then I'm actually, I'm turning it like this to get that feeling. 
and that it creates kind of a pendulum like this in my hand. So this way around. It's easy. Be, it's easier to do this because now you have some weight on both ends here, and you can go like like this, right? So you can create kind of a uh, spasm <laughs> if you want, All right? And then with this as well, it's like this <laughs> with the third third finger. The whole hand is. And again, it's like I am holding my fingers like this, and not you know I'm not tight. You can do this well there, but in the beginning, this really was helpful. Also, I'd still do it when I needed to. Right? So that's a spasm. But the other exercise is much more important in my perspective because it gives you really the ability to control your vibrato. And you can experiment with, you know, bending a semitone and just bending a half a semitone. What is that? Well, that's some, somewhere in between. And then go da 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 And really, really focus on it as a rhythmical exercise where you're freaking, you're doing it right. Da 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 da. That's what creates the control. A little of this, this each day with the metronome is just going to make a huge difference. And if you want to add the TV practice to it as well, once this is automatic and you can do it at a slow level, then you can actually sit down in front of the TV and go, Again, I'm, I'm using the turning motion here on the first finger. As you're watching a sitcom, keep it in, maybe tap your foot a little bit, discreetly, right? Just, you know, for hours, and I promise you a week or two will go by and you And you can even I do it even so create that uh, heavy vibrato that we that we all love so much, uh, maybe. Uh, so this is my my key insight on uh, how to practice um, vibrato. Subscribe for more free videos. Do it. Do it now. Do it.